What's going on everybody? Steven here again. Really exciting day because I finally got my clownfish in. Now these two are uh, they're frostbite clownfish and I got a pair of them. They're still really small. I've got them drip acclimating in here right now so pretty soon then they'll be added into the tank itself. I don't have any other coral yet. Uh, I still plan on getting some anemones and all kinds of other stuff. The, uh, the Chato actually cut that in half and took it to uh, the fish store because uh, it was starting to take over the entire back side over there. So This guy, the Xenia is looking really good. It's pulsing, uh, so that's awesome. I can't wait for that to uh, kind of grow more and fill up this whole little rock face here. <clears throat> That'll be a nice little filtration aspect. So That's the only thing I kind of worry about with something this small. It's hard to keep your water parameters because um, you don't have a lot of filtration or a lot of... Uh, you don't have like a, a sump like a lot of other tanks do. So this is my only filtration in here is this um, this little one here. And then obviously when I add corals and plants and stuff that'll help a lot. So, But if you do weekly water changes it, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, super excited. Super excited about these guys. Can't wait to get them in there and see what they look like under the lights and everything. So the uh, little update on the hermit crabs I have in here they're they're doing great uh, one of them actually upgraded his shell to one of these bigger ones here and he's somewhere in this tank they they like to get in these little crevices and stuff and and hide and clean and stuff in there so yeah just a short video today wanted to show you guys what's going on super excited um, can't wait to uh, show you guys what they look like when they're in the tank and doing a lot better Alright guys, here they are inside the fish tank now. Uh, they're kind of going nuts because I just put some uh, live baby brine shrimp in there for them to, to kind of feed on. Uh, and they are eating, obviously, so that's a really, really good sign. Um, so far they've just been kind of hanging out in the front of the tank, which is, um, I mean, understandable. They're, this is a new tank to them, they don't really know what's going on, so... And there's really no uh, anemone or anything for them to kind of to hide in, so... That's to come in the future. Uh, so but yeah, starting to look really nice. There's there's some uh, algae growth on the front. That's why you see all these tiny little dots. So um, don't worry about that. No big deal. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the fish inside their their new home. Um, I'm excited. Can't wait to get uh, a couple gobies in here as well. And I think that'll probably be all I put in as far as livestock go. I don't want to put too much stuff because it is only 15 gallons. And uh, I think that'll look really nice, especially once this tank has some age on it and it gets some coral and stuff in there. So it'd be really good. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'll keep everyone updated after I get something new or just, uh, you know, if, if things change a little bit so I can show you what's going on with it. So hope you guys have a good one.